Hi, I'm Charles Ellison, Civil 3D designer and trainer at AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com. Today, we'll be using the tool space in Civil 3D 2020. This is a panel specific to Civil 3D that controls all of the Civil 3D specific objects. It also allows us to control our drawing settings and import fieldwork data collected from our survey crew. Let's get an overview of how this panel works. So far we've covered user interface features that are pretty typical with a standard copy of AutoCAD. But now we're going to look at the user interface features specific to Civil 3D. Under the Home tab, within the Home ribbon, there is a Tool Space button. When you click on that button, this is a very powerful palette. The tool space helps to navigate through Civil 3D objects within your drawing. Now there are four different tabs to work with such as the Prospector, the Settings tab, the Survey tab, and the Toolbox. The Prospector tab shows us a tree view of all the Civil 3D objects within the drawing. For this example, this drawing contains multiple surfaces. If we click that little plus button, we have all these different surfaces. Now these multiple surfaces contain different styles viewed in our graphic space. Now some are visible and some are hidden. Visual control of these surfaces can be accessed through this prospector tab. Under the settings tab, additional controls and drawing defaults can be controlled within this area. The survey tab controls the database information we use for importing existing conditions such as points and line work. Lastly, the toolbox contains ways of generating different reports and contains various utilities that might not fit contextually with the ribbon or the panel menus. Plugins are available such as the subscription extension containing quarterly release tools from Autodesk that are compatible with this version of AutoCAD. Many of these tools will be released with the next version, but Autodesk makes them available as they develop them. So recognize the importance of the tool space panel. Since it is a palette, it can be dragged off the screen, docked, or set to auto hide but I find that it's best just to leave it docked and open while working with my Civil 3D objects. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.